Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019. Uh, this video is on how to customize your forms in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holquist. I'm with QuickBooks University, and so let's get to it. Okay, so in QuickBooks Online, uh, if you want to customize the way your invoices look, your, your estimates, etc., I want to show you how to do that in this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, if you go up to the gear icon, okay, there's going to be really kind of two places you can go. One right here, the custom form styles, or you can go to account and settings. There's an option under account and settings where you can customize your form styles. But let's go ahead and click here. All right, so you'll see the custom form styles. We don't have any. All right, so we're going to set up a new style. All right, so let's say that this is an invoice that we want to do. All right, so QuickBooks Online gives you some flexibility. It's not great, but there is some flexibility here. Okay, so first of all, you're going to name it, you know, whatever you want to name it. So let's say that my invoice template is what you want to name it. That's fine. All right, so you've got some options up here, these four um, buttons, tabs. And then you've got options under each of these tabs right here. All right. So, and then this just gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. All right. So first of all, let's change up the template. All right. So you've got five options. You can go this, the one that it's on, the Airy Classic. You can go to Modern, Fresh. Okay. So not the best, but not bad. All right. So let's say that we want to go with Bold. All right. And then add your unique logo. Okay, so whatever your company logo is, you can add that here and have it uh, put onto uh, your form. All right, splash on some color. All right, so right now we've got this blue. Let's say that we want to make it, you know, you can make it any color you want. It could be gray, uh, it could be purple. <laughs> All right, so whatever color you want, you can put uh on to this invoice all right so let's say we want it to be green we're a landscape company so green makes sense all right get choosy with your font so you can change the font you can change the the size just a little bit all right makes it a little bit bigger maybe easier to read okay and then when in doubt print it out okay so you can print it and uh take a look at it and see what it looks like all right so that's the design. So some basic uh, things that you can change in the design. So let's go over to content here. All right, so it says click the pencils on the right to edit each section, okay? So we click here and you have a little bit of flexibility here. You can put in your phone number, uh, you can put in uh, the address, the website, uh, probably a good idea to put on your invoices. Uh, form name, okay, so you wanna change this to maybe custom invoice or something along those lines. Form numbers, you can use custom transaction numbers if you want to, okay? Uh, or you can just take that off and let QuickBooks number these for you. It's just gonna do it in a sequential ordering. Okay, so then on the display, you can do billing address, shipping terms, due date, and then you can add a custom field, okay? So right here, we've got crew number, but let's say that we wanna put in, you know, uh, birthday, you know, I don't know, uh, we can put in uh, birthday custom two. okay? So you've got a little bit of flexibility to add those things there. All right, and then uh, emails, okay, how your invoice appears in emails, all right? So you can do full details, uh, you can do summarize details with a PDF attached, and then you can update the um, email that they're gonna get, okay, so the message. So maybe you wanna make it a little more personable, uh, you know, other than just, hey, here's your invoice, all right? And then you've got the reminder email down here. Uh, just a reminder, we have not received your payment, etc. cetera, all right? And then over here, payments, okay? So if you uh, integrate the payment services with QuickBooks, with the bank transfer or the credit card, you by all means can turn this on and uh, set it up. All right, so then we go to preview PDF if you wanna take a look at it and see what it looks like. All right, so there we go. It takes it to, uh, took me to this front area here and uh, we've got our custom form set up. All right, and you can always edit this. Uh, you can change it, preview, rename, delete, make it your default. Okay, we're gonna make that our default. 
okay? Now, one other thing I wanna show you here that um, a lot of people don't know about is if you go up to the gear icon, go over to QuickBooks Labs, all right? QuickBooks Labs is, is a place where they're testing out new things within QuickBooks Online, all right? You'll see it says come play in our high-tech playground, and there's a, a few different things here that you can do. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but one thing I did wanna show you here was import style, okay? Now you can spice up your brand with your own invoice design, okay? So you can import this from a Word file and tell us which fields to replace, okay? So this is an option. Now, what you're gonna do is just turn this on and then uh, it's a plugin that has been activated that you can go in and import now. Uh, what I have found with these QuickBooks Labs uh, options, some of them are pretty neat, but I've had a little bit of trouble when I turn them on and then I go back to QuickBooks and try to actually use them, okay? So they are in beta. They're kind of quirky. Sometimes they have quirky little things with them that they may or may not work as designed all the time, uh, and that's why they're testing them out. But uh, try that out. You know, you can import a, a Word document maybe with some designs on your invoices, make it look even better for uh, your business. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave me a comment in the video. Uh, head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org and uh, love to see you over there. Talk to you soon.